Proudly sponsored by HezHez.co.uk, a fast-growing boxing equipment brand that give 20% of all sales on the branded products back to a boxing gym of your choice. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video here on Niche Sports. Today we are going to Hull FC versus Catalan Dragons. This should be a comfortable Catalan win if we're looking at the table. It's first versus ninth, but obviously Hull FC are finding a bit of form as of late. Um, Catalan got pushed very close by Lee last week, despite having a 20-0 lead at one point. That game finished 38-30, and they haven't lost in quite some time. So if, we, if we're looking at the amount of inconsistency in this year's league, they, they are due a loss um, rather soon. Hull FC... Um, They'll be wanting to press on from their 34-6 win over St. Helens last week. Uh, previous week, they obviously lost St. Helens in the Cup. But overall, their form has massively picked up with a, a win over Warrington um, recently as well. And then, not too long ago, winning four in a row. They've also won four league games in a row at the MKM Stadium. They'll be looking to make it five today. Um, but anything could happen. Catalan are a very, very good side. Hull FC are looking a good side as of late, so I think it'll be a, it'll be a very tight game. Almost too tight to call, but I'm going to favour the black and whites as I'm a black and white fan. That might be slightly biased, but we'll see. Um, we'll see. I know Barry McDermott, um, Dan and Lewis on our pod all said a Catalan win, um, but strange things have happened. Just look at just look at my vlog from last night when Wakefield beat Salford at thirty two six. What a result that was, Hull. It won't be as much of an upset, but we'll be looking for a similar sort of thing today. Let's get to the game. A bit of team news then, heading into this one. Hull FC remain without Tex Hoy and Liam Sutcliffe. Adam Swift returns to the side. I'd imagine it would just be a straight swap with Adam Swift Dave, and Davey Litton, and then Jamie Shaw keeps his place at fullback after a good performance last week. Catalan, well, they remain unchanged, except Mikel Gudemond, who dropped out which is quite a big loss. Obviously, he is signing for Leeds next year. So we have now arrived at the ground. I've purchased for new shirt. It's very nice. Um, a few changes to report on the side, on the, on the teams. Uh, Swift comes in for David Litton and uh, for Catalan, Tompkins is playing in the halves. <laughs> Kickoff is about to get underway here, it's Catalan's that will get us underway. First try of the game, it has gone Catalan's way. A kick behind the whole line is uh, taken by Tom Johnson who scores. It's been converted 6 0 for Catalan after six minutes. Try for Catalan, um, it's an error from Lavadua. Catalan scoop it up and uh, run in to score under the post. It's converted, it's now 12 0 after 18 to 19 minutes. It's a try for Hull FC. Chris Satter charged onto a short ball and scores. Jay Clifford converts. It's now 12 6 with just under 12 minutes to go in this first half. Catalans are in again. They're forced away over from dummy half on the last. Arthur Morgan misses a conversion. It's 16 6 with. Seven minutes to go in the south. Catalan are in again, it's back to back tries, a force away over and it's converted by Morb. 22 6 with five and a half minutes to go in the south. Full FC are over this time, it comes from a Cameron Scott break, he offloads it to Danny Howard and a few plays later, Daniel McIntosh pulls out the acrobatics to dive in, in the corner. Jay Clifford converts, it's 22 12 with about two minutes to go in the south. It's another try for Hull FC, the last play of the half. It's a scrum for Catalan. Adam Swift picks their pockets, intercepts and runs un nearly under the post to score. Jake Clever converts and it is now 22-18 at half time to the Catalan Dragons. We're back underway here, it's Jake Clifford who kicks us off. We're about halfway through the second half now, not a lot to report. Adam Swift is limped off with an injury. But other than that, it's, uh, it's quite end to end, both sides having chances. Um, and the score is still 22-18 to Catalan. Catalan break the second half deadlock. They kick it early on the fourth, kicking behind the hole at the defensive line. Tom Davies at scores. It's been converted by Arthur Morgan. It's 28-18 to Catalan with 15 minutes to go. So the game did finish then at the MKM Stadium. Hull FC 18, Catalan Dragons 28. That second half was really, really good. Really, really tight. Hull FC's defending was quite good. Um, Catalan's attack was also quite good. Um, Hull FC, I think the main theme of that game for them was the amount of unforced errors that were made and it really limited their attack. Um, 
in that second half was a few few times where they broke the line and it was the second, third tackle and they've offloaded and it's gone to a Catalan player. Um, she's really unforced and frustrating to see because um, it's chances. Um, as for Catalan, as I say, their, their attack was good. Hull FC's defence was just a bit better and um, it kind of was a theme that Hull FC's defence was there um, but they didn't have the attack to match it. Um, and as for Catalan, their attack was good and their defence was good. So it was it was difficult. Um, the last five minutes in the first half was really good for Hull and they scored two tries. Um, and, you know, it kind of, I guess, saves the scoreline to a degree but makes it what it should be because Hull FC maybe even deserved to be close than 10 points down. Um, you know, there was a few dodgy refereeing decisions perhaps um, that, went, that went against Hull FC but... You know, you can't you can't blame the referees. Um, you know, they're, they're all human. They all make mistakes. It's it's not not intentional. Um, but there were there were a few errors made by Liam Moore. Perhaps that would have slightly changed the scoreline. But at the end of the day, it was a spirited performance from Hull. Just quite not quite enough. Um, Catalan now it's them early to four points clear at the top of the table. Hull FC sitting ninth, they're six points off playoffs, but a, a win on Derby Day um, next Sunday if Leeds beat Salford and they're, they're right back in it, up to four points away from the playoffs. Uh, ten games to go then, left in, in Super League, and it's still potentially all to play for. Catalan, if you play like that, you would imagine they'll be in the Super League Grand Final. Hull FC probably need, I'd say, probably at least seven or eight wins from their final ten to get playoffs, but it's possible with the way they're playing. Um, it was great to purchase this shirt, uh, this shirt from from a Hull FC shop today, uh, the Armed Forces shirt, which will be worn on the fifteenth of July against Casper Tigers, a game that I will be at. Um, we'll report for you all on niche box, but um, all in all, not a bad day out. It, it has finished then at the MKM Stadium, Hull FC eighteen, Catland Dragons twenty eight. Thank you for watching.